using and formatting tables. If you've ever seen a spreadsheet or used a program such as Excel, then you're probably pretty familiar with tables. That's all tables are, after all, simply a grid arranged into columns and rows. You can use them to organize and emphasize certain pieces of information. More than that, you can use tables to do complex page layout operations that almost rival expensive professional publishing programs like Adobe InDesign. Before we identify the different parts of a table, let's go ahead and insert one into our publication. You'll find the tables located under the Insert tab in the Tables group. The Tables button looks like this. Click on the Tables drop down menu. You'll then see a bunch of boxes appear. The easiest way to insert a table is to drag your mouse over the rows and columns until you have the amount that you want. As you can see here, we dragged our mouse to make a table that has 7 columns and 3 rows, or 7 by 3. As we drag, the table appears in our publication. Click to add the table. We now have a basic table, so let's identify the parts. Each box that you see in the table is called a cell. There are 21 cells in the table here. The rows go from left to right. There are three rows. Rows go horizontally across the screen. Columns go from top to bottom. There are seven columns above. Columns are vertical. So now that we've identified the parts of a table, let's take a look at the other ways in which we can add them. Once again, we're going to add a table, but this time we're going to use a different method. Go back to the Insert tab and click on Table, then select Insert Table instead of dragging your mouse over the boxes. The boxes actually represent cells, as we just learned. A dialog box opens in the center of your screen that looks like this. From here, you can select the number of rows and columns. In this example, we are going to add six columns and two rows. Click OK. Adding text to a table is as easy as clicking into a cell and then typing. You will be able to change any attributes of that text too, and even apply a word art style, which adds effects to the text. You'll find a quick styles in the Table Tools Design tab that appears when you add a table. We'll talk about formatting tables in just a few minutes. Just like in an ordinary publication, you can choose whether to centre text within a cell, or whether to align it right or left, or toward the top or the bottom. Go to the Alignment group under the Table Tools Layout tab. This tab appears besides the Table Tools Design tab. You can use these buttons here. As you can see, you can align text to the left, centre or right of a cell. You can also align it to the top, middle and bottom of the cell. In addition, you can also change the text direction, add hyphenation, or adjust the margins within individual cells. You should be familiar with these buttons from earlier in this course. They work the same way that they do in text boxes, except they are for individual cells. Whenever you create or select a table, the table tools will open automatically over the design and layout tabs in the toolbar. It allows you to easily apply table styles, borders, and shading attributes and more. The Design tab, shown here, lets you customise the look and appearance of your table. The Table Formats group under the Table Tools Design tab lets you format the appearance of your table. You can format your table using one of the pre-designed publisher formats. You can hover over the styles to get a preview of how your table would look. Click on the downward arrow in the bottom right here to see all the formats available. These formats will establish the look and feel of your table. Click the Fill button to add a fill colour to your table by selecting the table, then choosing a colour in the Fill drop-down menu. To add it to the entire table, select your entire table, then perform the same steps again. We've added a yellow fill colour to our table. In the Borders group, you can use border styles to add borders to rows and columns to customise the look of your table. You can also add word art, drop caps, and other formatting elements to your table under the Table Tools Design tab. These are elements we've covered already in this course. 
Selecting cells, rows and columns in Publisher 2016 is easy. To select a cell, click within the cell so that the mouse cursor is blinking. Go to the Table Tools Layout tab, and then go to the Table Group on the left. Click on Select, and then Select Cell. To select a row, click in the first cell in a row, and then go to the Select button and click on Select Row. To select a column, first select a cell in a column, then click on Select, and select a column. To adjust the width of individual columns, position your mouse pointer over the edge of the column and drag it to the desired width. You can tell that you put it in the right spot when the mouse pointer changes. Click and drag left or right to change the width of the cell. There are two ways to add a new row or column to a table. Select a cell, row or column. Go to the Table Tools Layout tab. Choose an option from the Rows and Columns group. You can select Insert Above or Below for Rows, or for Columns, Insert Left or Right. I've just inserted a new row below the one I had selected. You can delete rows by selecting the cell within the row or column you want to delete, and then right-clicking inside the cell. In the context menu, select Delete, and then either Delete Columns, Delete Rows, or Delete Table. To merge cells, drag your mouse over the cells while holding the left mouse button down to select them. As you can see here, the first three cells are selected. In the Layout tab, select the Merge Cells button from the ribbon. The cells are then merged in the table here. To split a cell, select it by clicking on it, then click on the Split Cell button on the ribbon. You can also add diagonal lines through cells. When you do this, you can type in each section of the cell above and below the diagonal line. To do this, select a cell, a group of cells, or the entire table. Find the Diagonals button on the ribbon under the Table Tools Layout tab. Click the downward arrow to see this menu. Choose to either divide up or divide down. We'll choose divide up. As you can see in our cell here, we can now top above and below the diagonal line. If you can't see the text, you can go to the Home tab and then click on the Right Align button here. By default, it's left aligned. There are three ways to delete a table in Publisher. You can select any cell in the table, then click the Delete button on the Table Tools Layout tab, then select Delete Table. Another way to delete a table is by right-clicking on it, and then selecting Delete, and then Delete Table. You can also right-click on the table, and then select Delete Object.